Hey, what's up? My name is Pete Schutte, and this is a tutorial for my Android application, the College Study Buddy. Um, I'm just going to do a brief run through on how to use it and some of its features, followed by you know just a little about me and then uh, where I plan to go with it. All right, so here we go. All right, so once you start it, this is going to be the first screen you come to, which is the Add Classes screen, and this is where you build your schedule. So let's say you have physics. you have that on Monday, Wednesday, and actually, before you do that, set the times because, uh, you know, let's say you have it from 10 a.m. to whatever. As you click them, they'll fill in with the same times. But if you want to change them all at the same time, you can click the consistent times thing and do that. There you go. They all change. All right, so then you add this class, and if you go down to your schedule, you'll see that they all fill in. Now what the planner assistant right here is, is basically at this time a uh, notification will go off and it'll appear up here in your status bar and if you click on the notification it'll bring you right to this add entry screen. Now when you add entries you know you can immediately click so let's say physics um, and you have to read Sorry, this is slow. For an emulator. Chapter. Let's say you have to read chapter six. And you have to do that. Mm. You have to do that for Friday. Alright, so you set that. Enter the assignment. And if that's only if it's an assignment. You can also do this for tests or events and then reminders just as kind of a way to separate them. So then when you return here, you'll see you have it showing up. You can click it as you finish it just to kind of keep track of what you've done and what you haven't done. And um, if you want to change the views, you just click right here. Right now it'll default say to all, but let's say you just want to see things for physics. Oh, in general is something that will be added in there, like right? for like whatever reason, just no matter what. And then you can click if you want to see assignments, events, or reminders, and if you want to see upcoming or past. So you set the planner, and it'll uh, it'll change depending on what you do. Alright, so then that brings us to the uh, settings screen. In settings, you know, you can obviously clear anything or whatever, but um, one thing that some people said to me is they weren't, like they didn't realize that you could turn off all the notifications, because one of the fun things about the study buddy is how it does keep you constantly reminded, but sometimes that can be kind of annoying. So if you want to turn off the planner assistant, you can just immediately do that right here. And then when you go to your schedule, you'll see that the feature is disabled. And so the notification will be sent, obviously. Aside from the planner assistant, though, we have the morning reminder, which basically, in the morning reminder, if you, uh, if you have anything for that day, you will receive this. And um, when you click on it, it will uh, it'll bring you to a list of just like everything that you have for the day. Um, and the nightly reminder will tell you everything that you have for the next three days. This one is just kind of so you can stay on top of things. I know that was an issue I had when I came to school and uh, this one is so you just kind of remember to bring everything that you need in the beginning of the day. Um, if you ever want to watch this tutorial again you can just launch it right here and uh, yeah other than that it's pretty basic you know you delete classes will bring you to a nice little screen like this um, so delete it. Oh yeah, one thing, one uh, thing that people had commented about that they wanted was a way to uh, change things. So here, if you just long click on that, it'll bring it up there. And it actually wasn't chapter six; it was chapter seven. There you go. Real easy to change. Apply. Oh, and you can also delete it from there. But yeah, so basically that's it. So yeah, um, that's the uh, college study buddy. It's it's pretty basic right now. You know, I have a lot of things that I want to add to it. You know, my next step right now is going to be to link it to a Google Calendar so you can actually just view it from your uh, from your computer. Just because I think that's a lot more simple. And um, sorry, iPhone users, I uh, I just recently got my iMac, and so I'm gonna be making it for 
that soon and uh yeah, but until then, just gonna have to hold tight, and it's Android only. Um, so a little bit about me. I uh, I know it's not incredibly professional. That's just because you know I'm a I'm a student at Drexel University right now, uh, studying computer science, and mobile was not actually something that was offered as a class. I just kind of like did this on the side, and um, yeah. So like sometimes I haven't been able to put out updates or whatever because uh, you know I've been caught up in other things, whether it's like. I don't know, like a social life or, uh, you know, homework, whatever. But, um, yeah, so uh, the other thing is, if you want anything on this, like, I, I'm trying to make an application that, you know, it feels like yours, because, I mean, I'm not, like, a professional whatever or anything. So, you know, just, like, shoot me an email. It's connected to my uh, Play account, and uh, just say what you want in it, and I'm going to try to put it in. I know somebody said that they want to add uh, holidays, and... I don't know why I didn't do that before, but um, that's probably going to come in the, uh, the next update as well. So, yeah, thank you for your time. If, um, if you have anything that you want to say to me, just shoot me an email. I will check it out or leave a comment or whatever on, the, uh, on, my, on Google Play, and I'll definitely look at those. You know, I, I really like seeing when I get stars and whatnot. So, all right, um, have a good one.